The USS Sulaco is a fictional spaceship and important setting in the film Aliens. It also appears briefly in the opening scene of Alien 3, as well as in the Aliens, Infestation and Aliens, Colonial Marines video games that takes place shortly after the events of Alien 3. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The Sulaco is named after a fictional town in Joseph Conrad's novel Nostromo, which is also the name of the ship from the original Alien. A number of other names in the franchise are based on Conrad's work as well. Some scholarly research into the symbolism of the Alien franchise has considered it significant that Sulaco in Conrad's Nostromo is the home of the owners of the silver mine figuring in the book, while the Sulaco in Aliens transports soldiers to investigate unknown troubles at a corporate outpost of Wayland Yatani and to protect their investment drawing parallels between the corporate owners in Conrad's work and the shadowy business entity forming a central part of the Aliens franchise. Depiction The Sulaco is a Conestoga-class starship that transports United Systems Colonial Marines to investigate the loss of communication with a colony on LV-426 in the Aliens film. While carrying only a small complement in the movie, and only two dropships, it is noted in other reference material that as a troop carrier, the Sulaco could carry up to 20,000 tons of cargo, with up to eight UD-4L Cheyenne dropships and has sufficient life support capabilities for 90 crew and passengers with up to 2,000 possible in hibernation for short-term trips. After encountering aliens in the colony, only Ellen Ripley Sigourney Weaver a colonist named Newt Carrie Hen, Marine Dwayne Hicks Michael Bean, and the android bishop Lance Henriksen managed to return to the ship. They also accidentally carry along an alien queen, which Ripley ejects into space during the movie's final battle before the survivors enter cryogenic sleep. In Alien 3, a fire aboard the Sulaco leads to the survivors' cryogenic sleep tubes being launched from the ship, with its further fate unknown. <laughs> Production Sid Mead, a principal conceptual designer on Aliens, first designed the Sulaco as a massive sphere, a heavily armed cargo ship, outfitted to transport material." James Cameron was not satisfied, as having a spherical model move past the lens would have required variable focus, he produced a quick sketch of the style of ship he imagined and noted that he was imagining something like a forest of antennae enter -ing the frame, followed by the enormous bulk of the SULACO. While some claim that the basic shape was based on a submarine, the design has most often been described as a gun in space, due to the elongated form resembling the pulse rifles used in the movie, with Sid Mead agreeing that, in addition to Cameron's preferences, this was one of the reasons for the switch from the spherical form. Other film analysts have remarked on how the opening shot of the ship as something sinister and weapon-like presages Ripley's transformation during the movie into a warrior figure, akin to the hardened marines the Sulaco already carries. The opening shot of the ship traveling through space has also been called fetishistic and shark-like, an image of brutal strength and ingenious efficiency. While the rigid, mechanic, militarized interior of the Sulaco designed by Ron Cobb is contrasted to the somewhat more organic and friendly interior of the Nostromo in the first movie also designed by Ron Cobb. 
Other sources have also noted the homage the initial scenes pay to the opening tour through the Nostromo in Alien. Mead has denied rumors in the fan community that actual scientific research had been done into how a futuristic spaceship might work. As an example, he noted that the idea for the early spherical design had nothing to do with creating centrifugal gravity, as such problems were for storyline purposes assumed to have already been solved by science. <laughs> <laughs> Color and lighting Several movie academics have remarked on the color and lighting symbolism in the Alien franchise, which often offsets white, strongly lit environments spaceships, corporate offices against darker, dirtier, corrupted settings derelict alien ships, abandoned industrial facilities. These black touches contrast, or even attempt to take over, the purity of the white elements. Others have agreed with this interpretation and pointed to the Sulaco with its sterilized, white interior as representing this element in the second film of the franchise. Merchandising <inaudible> 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 Video games The video game Aliens, Infestation features the Sulaco as one of its playable settings where the player is part of a marine unit sent to the ship to investigate what happened on board after the events of Aliens. The video game Aliens, Colonial Marines begins by featuring the derelict Sulaco being investigated by a Colonial Marine search and rescue team set shortly after the events of Alien 3. The investigating marines find that the ship has been boarded by scavengers and infested by aliens. Gearbox Software meticulously created the entire spaceship room by room. <laughs> <laughs> Scale modeling The ship has also been built as a scale model by enthusiasts, toy company Aoshima Bunker Kyozai, and model maker Halcyon, with some more detailed versions also produced by small series, individual commission modeling companies. <laughs> Appearances Aliens 1986 Aliens novel 1986 Aliens Newt's Tale novel 1992 Alien 3 1992 Alien 3 novel 1992 Alien 3 The Gun video game 1992 Aliens The Female War novel 1993 Aliens Colonial Marines Technical Manual 1995 1996 2012 Aliens Colonial Marines 2013 Alien The Wayland Yatani Report 2014 Alien River of Pain 2014 Aliens, Bug Hunt 2017